It seems we've returned to a future where there is no black. Yo, that sounds so crazy. Beerus and Fo And it's so funny. It's so funny how that was the only dialogue that had voice acting. And then now we're back to reading. That is insane. <laughs> LSG Melly and I'm bringing you some more Spark and Zero episode battles. Now, originally, I was just gonna finish the 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 story on my own free time, but I said, why not record it? You know, it's more content for y'all to enjoy. For those of you who are enjoying it, I know y'all like the World Tournament uh, series that I've been dropping with some ranked. I've been doing a lot of different things, so. Um, but I figure, you know, content is content, you know, just drop it. That's what I basically was just telling myself. Now, without further ado, we're about to hop into this thing. If you guys are liking the content, please like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. I really appreciate that. Um, I have, I've, I've been wanting to drop some more horror content on the channel. So if y'all can just help a brother out and recommend me some good horror games to play on the channel, that would be great. I have played a little bit, but I want to play a little bit more. You know, I want to start dabbling into some horror, you know? So help me out, recommend me something, and that's it. Don't got nothing else for this uh, intro, so we about to just hop in, see you guys in the gameplay. Through his fight with Majin Buu, Goku was revived. He now spends his days training so he can get even stronger. However, he is soon to encounter a new and even more powerful enemy. While Goku is training, the God of Destruction, Lord Beerus, shows up to Bulma's birthday party, apparently in search of this of a Super Saiyan God. No one stands a chance against Beerus, who has the power to destroy everything. Ah! Huh? With the help of his family and friends, Goku awakens a Super Saiyan God and takes Earth's fate in his hands as he steps up to the plate against Beerus. Let's go, Lord Beerus, you and me! But if I win, you have to leave this planet untouched. Deal? That's fair. Very well, I accept your terms. But know this, none in this universe can hope to match the power of Beerus the Destroyer. <laughs> Oh, that's a good thumbnail. No. Thumbnail. Yeah! Goku has been beaten down, but he's not out yet. Holding on tight to his will to fight, he raises his he rises to face Beerus once more. Did the Super Saiyan God right. thing work? Oh. I don't know. It sure seemed like it did. But I can't sense my dad's energy at all. Believe it or not, that's good news. Whoa. The energy that radiates from a god cannot be detected by mere mortals. Whoa, he's... Whoa! Yo, I can't even touch him! Are you there? Can't even do nothing against this man. Here 
friend. Yeah, back up a little bit for me, bro. been waiting for. <laughs> what do you say we continue this fight on right? equal footing? God to yeah, God. Yeah, hold this. Ah! Right. Sounds good to me. I'm only scratching the surface of this new power. What's that? Right. Wow, my lord, Whoa. I couldn't touch him. That's not fair. They're talking about some next. All right, did the Super Saiyan God thing work? I don't know, it sure seemed like it did. But I can't sense my dad's energy at all. Believe it or not, that's good news. The energy that radiates from a god cannot be detected by mere mortals. Right. Right. Damn. This is what yeah. I've been waiting for. Huh? <laughs> what do you say we continue this fight on equal footing? God to God. Yeah. I hit you with this again. Holy. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I'm only scratching the surface of this new power. Keep spamming, bro. Yeah. Figured that out, did you? <laughs> well, I had a feeling, but you don't have to hold yourself back for my sake, Lord Beerus. I'm not gonna get any stronger unless you face me with everything you've got. What happened? What happened? What happened? Are you always this talkative? You just don't get it. I don't know what happened. But we, we did something. We won, I guess. That's not how I looked at the end of the fight. I had no shirt on. Although Goku did not come out on top, his impressive attempt left an impression. Beerus and his companion leave without destroying the earth. A short while later, Vegeta and Goku train with Whis, Beerus' attendant who is also a teacher. Both awaken their Super Saiyan God's Super Saiyan forms and, is, and its incredibly, incredible power. However, back on Earth, Frieza has been resurrected by the Dragon Balls and brings an army to Earth to take revenge on Goku. Gohan tries to stop Frieza, but he is no match for Frieza's new and improved strength. 
By the time Boma's SOS reaches Goku and Vegeta, Piccolo is already dead, and things aren't looking much better for Goku. P Piccolo died here? However, Earth is far too distant from the planet. From the planet where the father of Google is in it. Okay. But just as all seems lost, Gohan summons the last of his strength to enhance his key, and Goku is finally able to sense him. Using instant transmission, he goes to face Frieza once again. Come here, Frieza. Hey, Vegeta. Sorry, but I've got to run. Ugh, fine. Do whatever you want, as usual. It occurs to me. I suppose I should thank you. Thank me? What in the world for? For years, my every step, my every breath has been motivated by a single desire. Revenge. My new power, strength enough to hold the universe by its throat. It was you who gave it to me. Losing to you, to a pathetic Saiyan. It consumed me. The humiliation was too much to bear. Enough! Get to the point! Exactly, shut the hell up and, and just get it, spit it out. Ah, impatient as ever. Very well. As a token of my gratitude, I will destroy you first. Ooh. Would you mind piping down? <laughs> I knew it! You've been holding something back, haven't you? That's well deduced for a simple game. I've held back just like you. Then let's both go all in. No tricks, no reserves. Oh, yeah. Come in. All right, now it's your turn. Let's see this new power of yours. Come in. Care to cut to the chase, do we? Mm. Very well, then I won't hold anything back either. Now brace yourself! Behold my newfound evolution! I know gold's a bit gauche, but I wanted to ensure you grasp my new position atop the pecking order. And for the sake of your feeble mind, let's keep the name simple as well. We'll call this Golden Freezer. Golden Freezer? Farewell, Goku. I can say it's been a pleasure. What? I'm not normally one for preemptive goodbyes, but there is a very real possibility that I kill you instantly. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. You've always been smug, Freezer. But I guess you've earned it this time. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Dead at my feet. You fools! Mm -hmm. Sir. Well, that was a good dummy. Goku and Frieza are locked in another mortal battle to settle everything once and for all. You, you fools! It's over, Frieza! Once and for all! Mm -hmm. I couldn't have put it better myself! Spotting an open, Frieza sees his chance to destroy Earth. But before he can, Goku realizes what he's doing and fires a Kamehameha at him. Yeah, 
Yes, sir. After Frieza is defeated, Beerus' twin brother Champa appears, and Goku and his friends are caught up in an argument between the two brothers. They then learn that there are a total of 12 universes with their call with theirs called Universe 7. Moreover, there's also apparently apparently exists Super Dragon Balls in Universe 6, Champa's home as well as Universe 7. These Super Dragon Balls can be used to summon Super Shenron who possesses the ability to grant any wish, completely free of all restrictions. If it is these Dragon Balls that are put up as a prize for a new tournament that will be held, the Tournament of Destroyers, at the end of many ferociously fought matches. Goku and the others, okay. After being noticed by a powerful being, it is decided that Goku and his friends shall meet with the ruler of the universe, Zeno. And it is this meaning which changes everything. Shortly after this, Trunks arrives in a time machine from the future, asking Goku and others for their help. Sorry, I swung at you without any warning, Goku. For a second there, I thought you were someone else. Nah, you were just rattled. Don't worry about it. So tell us, who is this guy? Would you believe me if I said he called himself Goku? What? What? Me? He wears dark clothes instead of your orange ones, so he started calling him Goku Black. I'll never forget the day he showed up. He said he was going to exterminate the human race. He said he was doing it in the name of justice. I struggled against him for a year after that, but by that point there were hardly any survivors left on Earth. Then, he tracked down Mom just before I came here. Wait a sec. My future self also wrote a message specifically for me. She wanted us to fix the machine and return with you. That means she wants me to go there and beat Kakarot myself. Come on, Vegeta, it's not me. It must be someone who just looks like me. Hey, Trunks, help me gauge how strong this guy is. Fight me for a while so you can compare my strength to his. Sure. All right. In order to understand the strength of his of this doppelganger imposter, Goku fights with Trunks to see how powerful he really is. The two of them go elsewhere to begin their sparring. However, an unexpected visitor soon joins them. I didn't mean to skip that. I figured this out after you left. I call it Super Saiyan 3. That's incredible. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. In that case, I'll show you my strongest move. All right, attack me with everything you've got. Oh. Goku Black! Uh-oh. Oh, now I... Destroyer Beerus. Wow, you really do look alike, huh? How are you, Goku? You're looking quite well. So, we're about to watch Goku versus Goku. It's shaping up to be a fascinating day. I'm not done yet. It's time to end. stronger than that, right? <laughs> I'm flattered you rate me so highly, but I'm getting too much out of this to rush. I need to get my act together. Come here. All right. All right, we leveled up. Kept you waiting, huh? It's time to end this. Oh, he missed.
right? Excellent, Goku. You can hurt me as much as you want. The pain will only make me stronger. Uh, okay. That's a pretty creepy thing to say. Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, that pull. Distortion in space time must be dissipating. It's going back to normal. Let's get it. The distortion in space time from which Goku Black emerges swallows him and returns to the world of future. Whis, Beerus' attendant, notices that Goku Black was wearing the Supreme Kai's time ring. He also informs Goku that there exists an individual in Universe 10 with the same key as Black, so they travel together to find that individual. Upon arriving, they find a combatant savant named Zamasu. Who is slated to become a Supreme Kai. He does indeed have the same key as Goku Black. However, it is Zamasu's first time meeting Goku and he is completely unaware of the time rings that can surpass the limitations of time and space. Uh, it would be your utmost pleasure to please engage in fisticuffs with me, your kindness, sir. Goku invites Zamasu to fight so he can witness his true power. All right. All right, let's give it a go. You know, I haven't fought a god since Lord Beerus. You fought a destroyer? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to change my controller. My buttons are kind of like, they don't feel good. Hold on, give me a second, y'all. All right, let's do this. Come here. No, no. Sonic Blast. Right? Come here. Didn't even see it coming. Wait, yeah. Did you feel that? Indeed. Wait, is that Black's energy? But it was awfully close. Let's go! <laughs> you know, for just a plain old Kai, you're pretty strong. Goku, stop it. Stop flattering. You didn't even go into blue. Between the antisocial psyche that's clearly lurking within him and the energy that he's projected outward, I'd say our suspicions that Zamasu is black have been circumstantially corroborated. Then maybe I should just dispense with him now while I can. Hmm? 
You guys sure about this? You know, he really didn't seem like such a bad guy to me. That's because you're too trusting of people. The energy I felt was similar, but it wasn't exactly the same as Black's. It seems there are more mysteries to solve. Yeah, I hear the music, the music giving off that vibe too, the mystery. Oh, you want to turn your back? Oh, who the fuck? All right. While Goku, Beerus, and Whis did meet, Zamasu and confirm he indeed has a key similar to Black's. They left unable to prove that Zamasu is definitely Black. Back on Earth, Bulma and the others are hard at work repairing the time machine when a message arrives from the fearsome Zeno requesting they visit him. Goku is accompanied by the Supreme Kai and the others, however... If you do anything that Grand Zeno finds insulting, he could easily erase you, me, this entire reality from existence. Don't forget that. One more thing, Whis. If Grand Zeno does lash out, make sure it's not its Supreme Kai. I need him protected at all costs. Goku was surprised to hear the concern in Beerus' voice, but the ne but ne he nevertheless joins together with Whis, Beerus, and the Supreme Kai. Whis soon divulges to Goku that if a Supreme Kai dies, the destroyer of that universe, Beerus, will die too. Beerus is clearly flustered by Whis's words, but there is no time to confront. To comfort him, Goku and Whis use the Supreme Kai's ability to set off for the palace. They are greeted by the Grand Minister, who takes them to Zeno. As they walk, Whis mentions that even he would not hold a candle to Grand, Mis Grand Minister. To the Grand Minister. What's up? I mean, good day and greetings. So, what's going on with you? What do you want? I'm not asking much. I just want a friend, you see. You're not like most people. You're fun. I want you to be my friend, Ogie Dogi. Aww. We can do that, I guess. But is that the only reason you called? Is that a problem? Oh, of course not, Grand Zeno. Goku would feel privileged to be your friend and provide you unsurpassed joy. Look at everybody being such a puss. You be quiet. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Out of date moho. I'm sorry, Zeno, but actually now's a bad time. There's something I've got to take care of, but when it's done, we can play, I swear. So once you're done with your busy thing, you'll play with me? Aw, he sounds so adorable. Sure, and if you want, I can bring somebody else who'd be even more fun to play with too. So the next time you won't have to wait on me. Oh, Goten? Really? Okay, it's a date. Pause. Why the hell is he? Why bye does? Bye, Goku. Why is Supreme Kai on my shoulders? Did he faint? As proof of Goku and Zeno's blossoming friendship, Zeno gives Goku a button that can summon him simply by pressing it. The three visitors then board the time machine and head for the world of the future. Go on, Goku. Rejoice. Only through me will you finally reach the pinnacle of beauty you have sought for so very long. You know, mm. I don't know what you're rambling on about. <laughs> Influenced by Goku, Goku Black evolves into Super Saiyan Rose and stands in their way. Father! Despite Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta wielding God Key, he still falls at Super Saiyan Rose Black's hands. Whoa, 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 time out, bro. You can't just throw me into a fight like that. No warning, no nothing. Like, damn. Let's get it. Your mind is too small. Your kind is incapable of understanding the grandeur of my success oh. and the glory of my cause. It's like staring into the sun. You cannot see. The vast beauty Ooh, of my okay. being overwhelms you. Breed apart and divide. Huh? No hard feelings. Oh, yeah. 
think you, you, yeah. this again bro That's enough. Samasu! What the fuck? I thought you were decent, but you're scheming with black! Scheming? Such a negative word. We are more like calm on a righteous crusade. Oh my gosh! What a shame you are, but a shame. been dreaming of for so long will be made manifest a true oh he don't know where i'm at perfect utopian existence mortals are Come unnecessary in. and more than that unwelcome whole paradise hate to burst your bubble but there's no way i'm letting you two get what you want go this time whoa <laughs> Why you? Yeah, homeless. Huh? Let's go. How disappointing you ungrateful and barbaric creatures are! Shut up the with your gods big gave words. you minds capable of true wisdom. Blah yet you blah wasted blah. Your big words do war. not belong here. I got a big word for you. You're a heathen. How you like that? How you like them apples, boss? <laughs> How can you talk about the values of mortals after everything you've done to my world? Mm. Final flash! Where he learned that move from? Um, you think you got him? He did learn it from Vegeta. I forgot he was on in the past when Vegeta did it right in front of him. So. What? It can't be! I've taken godhood to a new level. Divinity made perfect. With a body that befits a Kai. One that is invincible. <laughs> I can already tell I'm going Ooh. to be sleeping soundly tonight. 
This is your end. Say it. Who's there? Who's there is crazy. Vegeta. Vegeta uses the last of his strength to rescue Goku and the others who are able to return to their world. The Supreme Kai comes to Goku and the others with the message that Zamasu is looking for Goku as well as the Super Dragon Balls. Upon hearing that, we speculate that the Zamasu of the future will create Goku Black with the Super Dragon Balls and make himself immortal. It will be a year until the Super Dragon Balls can be used again. Cause Zamasu used the Supreme Kai's time ring to solve that problem. Zamasu is the only is is only an apprentice and does not possess a time ring. However, he may steal one from the Supreme Kai of Universe 10. If that is his plan, then the life of the Supreme Kai is at risk. Beerus and the others immediately head to Universe 10. Damn, man's eliminated him over off of a speculation. When they arrive, they find Zamasu just as, as he is about to murder the Supreme Kai. Using the, his power of Hakai, Beerus, is, Beerus wipes out Zamasu from existence. It seems we've returned to a future where there is no black. Yo, that sounds so crazy. Beerus inform... And it's so funny. It's so funny how that was the only dialogue that had voice acting. And then now we're back to reading. That is insane. That's insane, and y'all know it. <laughs> Beerus informs that... Beerus informs him that... Can, trusting his words, they travel to the future to see what difference they have made. My world didn't change. I knew it. Beerus couldn't fix this. Not even the act of a god made a difference. Damn. And now they face Zamasu and Goku Black once more. We know the truth. All the terrible things you've done. We know you use the Super Dragon Balls to get your power. You think I'm a copy? Oh, you're wrong. This is Goku's actual body, down to the last battle scar. The perfect war machine. I took the time ring and found the Super Dragon Balls. Then, with my first wish to the dragon, I switched bodies with you. Goku. Mm. Okay, so if you're telling us you're Zamasu, then who's this guy who actually looks like him? From your world's perspective, I'm the Zamasu from this world, and I work for justice with the Zamasu from the past. Wow. So there's different timelines where there's different time there's it's the same timeline, but the reason why they can go in the past, it probably has to do with Trunks coming to the past during the Cell Saga and changing shit. Now the shit is split. Yo, this is why like multiverse and time travel, it would never, it would never make sense to me. Like you have to really like lock in to understand it. This shit is insane, bro. I think I get it, but then again, I don't know. You haven't worked it out yet, Goku? I'm none other than the Kai once called Zamasu. The god defeated by a mere mortal. You. But how can that be? I saw Beerus destroy you. He said you'd be gone. Old Beerus clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Wearing it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. Ah, okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Thanks to the time ring, I could empower my new ally without waiting at all. We collected the Super Dragon Balls in the future and wished again. You were willing to kill your Supreme Kai just to get that ring? Yes. Then we had to make sure no one would undo our accomplishments later. So we found the Super Dragon Balls once more, and shattered them. After that, we had to keep the other gods from interfering here. 
I used your strength to kill every other Kai in this multiverse. Ew. That means in this timeline, there are no more gods who can stop us. We have all the power. The two of us alone! This destruction was unfortunate, but necessary to achieve our virtuous goal. The Zero Mortal Plan. This is... This is crazy, bro. Mortals are a foolish and ugly mistake that stain the majesty of the cosmos. By eliminating all mortal creatures, we can reclaim this perfect creation. We've already cleansed a great number of planets of their repulsive mortal blight. Your filthy kind is worst of all. How many times have conflicts nearly destroyed this planet and threatened to spread across the universe? Mm. Because you are the ugliest, we are sentencing you to the heaviest punishment. A despair and terror that befits your wicked crimes. And none of you will escape it. Damn. This is it, Saiyans. For the sake of our most glorious project, you will die today. Oh yeah? You think so? I thought for sure you would have asked by now, Goku. Aren't you concerned about your family? My family? Whoa! Oh. Oh. began such a gripping tale. After I collected the Super Dragon Balls and switched bodies with you, I went to Earth to check, to make sure we had really switched. And there I found you. You were shocked to find yourself in my body. Oh. Your family was terrified. Damn you! What about Chi Chi? And Goten! Oh, sure, you can guess that, which Goku. Come here. You monster! You'll oh. die for that! You took my body! You took my life! And then you even killed! Huh? Thank you, Goku. Your anger feels simply incredible. Now, you face my blade. We did all that just to get rocked. He's not dead though. Still got some more. He's got some more business to handle. Goku and the others have been no match for Goku Black and Zamasu in a nursing in our nursing serious injuries. Damn, I didn't mean to skip that. Just how are these two to be defeated? Goku and his friends are backed into a corner, but Piccolo has the idea that Master Roshi may be able to help. After learning the evil containment wave, Goku receives a jar from Master Roshi and goes straight to where Trunks and the others are. Immediately, he runs into Goku Black and Zamasu, who destroyed the time machine right before his very eyes. There will be no more retreating. 
Now you're trapped here. So this world will be the last you ever see. Oh, you're so sure. For a god, you're surprisingly confused. This isn't going to be our final resting place. It's going to be yours. We were even going to bring you a casket, but we couldn't find one small enough. Oh, shit. Our master Goasu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. So, Kakarot, where are you keeping that jar? Oh, crap! It was still in the time machine when they blew it up! How could you be that stupid? Damn, bro. Fine. What's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Shut your ass up, Goku. You better keep oh. your focus on me! Mortals do not tell God what to do! Here I am. Yo, what's going on? No hard feelings! Alright. Rage into power. I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. Right. This sound will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh mm. of the strength of my divine wrath. <laughs> Just as we foresaw, this. fighting this formidable Saiyan blight has carried us both to new heights. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is to cast judgment Ooh. upon all creation. Like you use it. Hold it. Yes. <laughs> oh. What's the matter, mortals? Relax. Don't be afraid. I thought you said love fighting the strongest. Maybe it's like this, right? <laughs> Father! Ooh. Goku! Trunks, you okay? He's weak. Right. Trunks must have done something. Bow your head. Oh! <laughs> How did you disgrace yourself against those mortals? We were barely separated. What went wrong? It seems many of our assumptions about the right. world were badly mistaken. Get out of here! We are much more than just insignificant words. If we're not careful, our you pathetic, lowly mortals kneel before our radiance. This game's right. over. You shall oh. kneel before our radiance. Get my views. Justice Get together. Thus begins a new world. Oh. Show your reverence and bow down before our splendor. Worship. Oh. Give praise unto me, me the good, the sublime, me huh? the invincible, the all Bro, it's about time we fight. fuse now. Can we fuse, Hail, please? Hail, Somerset. Trump, keep Boma safe. Right. Yeah. Face my divine wrath. Yeah. Yeah. Here. 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 Your judgment. Oh. Oh, no hard feelings. All right. Huh? <laughs> Hearken unto me. I am the brightly glowing sun in the sky which illuminates this world. And all shall know that my brilliance is justice. I 
Come here, the universal holers. wisdom, the universal law, and yes, the universal power. Yes, sir. We did something. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. How am I so far up here? Go. be a shield for this world and for all of us mortals i'm putting all of our hope into this one blast gallic gun mm -hmm. come on trunks give it all you've got right i've had enough of you impudent mortals away with you the craziest thing is we're Samasu? aliens Get ready, cause I'm knocking your lights out for good! Shall smite the heart of the wicked! Face my divine wrath! Continue to defy our God! But Gallic Gun and Goku's Kamehameha, Vegeta and the others think they have won. But then the few Zamasu's body starts to change. Half of this combined Zamasu came from black. It seems the part of his body that's vulnerable to attacks is affecting the part that isn't. They will need an even greater power to destroy Zamasu. Now Goku tells Vegeta his idea. Let's fuse, damn it. Okay, Vegeta. It's time. We're gonna fuse. Just like them. Yes, sir. Don't, you can't be serious, clown. There's no way I'm going to do that again. I don't like this any more than you do, Vegeta. But if we still need a major boost in power to break down his body, then this is the best chance we've got. Come on. You gotta admit I'm right about this. Good luck, you two. Thank you. It's now or never, Vegeta. There's something I've always wondered. When we fused last time, the Kai said it was permanent. But we split apart anyway. Do you know why? The truth is... It's only permanent if a Supreme Kai is involved. Otherwise, it only lasts an hour. That's so ass. So just a one-hour battle, then we're back to ourselves. Cut it out. If you say one more word, then the answer is no. Damn it all. One hour, but that's it. Let's do it. Vegeta, I need your help just one more time. So oh, I swore I'd never merge bodies with you again. All right! All right! Who are you? You two double up, so we did the same. You know, just to play fair. We're a merge fighter, a combination of Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegeta! And here's something new. Vegeta Blue! Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Get ready for this. Huh? Let's do it. You be more powerful, but you're still not a okay. god. Me. Okay. What do you say we wrap this up? What shall we? Goku's body will always be part of me. Huh? Of 
course you Such was my desire. Yeah! But you've gained divine power. You're stronger than most deities now. Right? Saiyans are the ultimate symbol of the failure of the Kai's love. Right? Taking Goku's flesh into my being, I have assumed both the sins of the mortal kind and the failure of divinity, so they may never be repeated. Got an answer for everything, huh? What so we? Right? Hmm? Oh. oh no. Not bad. I just die already. Over here. And all it takes to defeat you? Yes. So oh, no. Yeah. How do you like it? Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> All right. Sheesh. Hmm? It hasn't been an hour yet. Oh, Lord. Ali. Splitting apart, things are looking pretty dire for Goku and Vegeta. However, all is not lost as Trunks soon comes to their rescue. It's not about gods and mortals. You don't believe in anything but yourself. And we won't let you win! I can feel it. Keep it coming, guys. Share your power with me! Ooh. Ooh. Gathering the key of all the surviving mortals and pouring it into his sword, Trunks uses his blade to, to fell Zamasu. What? However, just as everyone thinks Zamasu is gone, once and for all, he enshrouds the earth in his incorporeal form. All of humanity is lost apart from our heroes. Is there really no way to stop the scourge of Zamasu? The situation is desperate, but Goku has an idea. Supreme Kai, tell me, do you think the Zeno of this timeline is still around? Yes, there's no question. Of course he would be. No one can defeat Grand Zeno. It's impossible. Hearing those words, Goku pulls out the button given to him by Grand Zeno that will summon him no matter where he is and presses it. With this, Grand Zeno appears in Trunks' world and Goku proposes that Zeno erase Zamazu from existence. All of existence, go away! I didn't mean to skip that. Trunks and his friends have lost their home, but they learned from Whis that they may be able to return to the same world before it was erased. With Whis's help, they seal away Zamasu of that world. Bidding farewell to Goku and the others, Trunks sets off on a next adventure in, in his new world. Sheesh. All right, y'all, that's going to be the end of this video. I'm going to finish Goku's story in the next video. Or well, maybe not the next video. I don't know what my next video is going to be, but he, this story will be finished, y'all. I'm a little bit pressed for time right now. That's why I'm not going to finish the whole like story of Goku right now. But they it will it will it will come up. All right. Just be patient with your boy. Your boy is under a lot of different stresses right now. All right. So it's going to it's going to happen. All right. So just be patient. Like I said, make sure you guys sub up, turn that noti bell on so you can see any future content that I drop. And this is my farewell for right now. See you guys in the next video. Peace.